Hello, and welcome to the third part in this series on creating document packages with HotDocs Author. In part one, we explored the creation of a central global component file as an answer intake. In part two, we associated our other templates with the document package. Here, we will walk through the creation of the global interview computation and how to use it to create the package of documents. The interview computation will need to ask all relevant questions for each relevant document. It's common to have a document selection question to determine relevant documents, but it's also possible to figure out which documents are needed indirectly through the interview or to generate the same package of documents each time. In any case, all questions need to be asked in this computation. We can take our transaction details dialog and add it to the interview with an ask instruction. And we would do this for any of the relevant dialogues in the interview. Next, we'll create a multi-select variable listing available document options. So I'll create a new multi-select variable called document selection. And then I'll add my options. Once I've added my options, we can then add it to our interview. If a document selection question is used in this way, these selections may influence which other questions are visible. You can make certain dialogues visible by adding conditions around them in the interview computation. But if your conditions exist on a dialog, we can make certain variables visible using dialog scripting. So if I go to my transaction details dialog, I can move to its script. And our delivery date question is only relevant if we choose a letter or a form. If we choose any of the other documents, we don't need to ask the delivery date question. So we will first hide this particular variable. Then we will check our conditions. In this case, we want to check to see if the document selection contains letter or our document selection contains form. Bear in mind, these options, these text options, have to match one of the options in the document selection multi-choice variable. Because this is a multi-select variable, uh, we cannot use the equal sign here because were we to do that and then put a single value after it, it would only be true if that was the only selection that had been made, because this is a multi-select, and we want to determine if the, the letter or the form were one of any of the options that were picked, we would use the contains model here. Then if that's true, we'd like to show our delivery date question. And then of course we have to end our if statement. And once our script is complete, all the errors should be gone. Uh, this listing of errors in the lower corner should not have a number next to it, so it should be zero. There shouldn't be any red squiggly lines indicating a scripting syntax error. And as an optional final step, anytime you're writing a script in HotDocs, you can use the auto format button to automatically indent and line up all of your scripting to make it slightly more readable. That's an optional step, but it's a good idea. Of course, once we've asked all of our questions, we must then direct each of our documents to be assembled under the right conditions. We do this by using a special instruction called an assemble instruction. This can be found on the models. And it requires a file name. The file name needs to match the specific file name of the document we would like to assemble. If you add a file name that matches a docx template name, 
in your workspace, Hot Docs will recognize this and it won't list it as an error. If it doesn't recognize the file name, uh, you'll see it uh, list this as an error. We'll need an assemble instruction for each of our potential documents. We'd only want these to assemble if they've chosen that document using our document selection question. In this example, we have a document selection question that's determining specifically which documents we'd like to include. If we're going to be doing this indirectly, then we would set up whatever the normal condition would be. We would check whatever conditions we needed in order to assemble that specific document. But in our case right now, we're going to check to see if document selection contains that particular selected document. Were we to stop now, then our document package would generate these four documents, but it would ask the interview for each of these templates. So it would run our interview computation, ask our relevant questions, and then it would ask them again for the letter and again for the form and again for the contract. Because we're gathering all the information we need in this primary interview, I'd like to suppress the interviews for these additional documents. We do that by adding what's called a command line switch. It's added immediately after the dot doc X in the file name, but before the closing quotation marks. And we add a space, a forward slash, and the letters NI, which stand for no interview. And if they appear at the end of an assemble instruction like this, that will stop the interview from happening and it will simply pass the answers to that assembled template and assemble the document automatically with no additional questions being asked. When complete, the answer intake template will act as the document package itself. And the other templates will be auxiliary templates associated with it. The answer intake is published as the package template, and the other templates will be published with it automatically. We can test our answer intake by using the composer test button. And that's important. If we use the test button attached to the interview computation specifically, we wouldn't be able to see the assembly happen. But if I select all of my potential documents except the appendix, it'll ask me my interview questions. And then I can click the finish button. And when I do, it'll generate all of my selected documents, each of which will contain the information that I filled in in the interview. Now you know how to make a document package using Hot Docs Author. I hope you found this useful.